The typical idle speed range for automobile engines is between 600 and 1000 RPM, but you should check the owner's manual or the vehicle's specifications to find out what's typical for your specific vehicle. Every car has a range of revolutions per minute that are regarded as typical. There might be a problem if you feel like the idle parameters jump or are uneven. An idle that is both too high or too low may also be problematic. In this guide, we evaluate the RPM in depth. We outline the signs of idle speed issues and offer some potential solutions. Let's start with the symptoms of idle speed issues. Surging RPM. Certain cars might not have a tachometer to determine the revolutions range. In this scenario, you will need to pay attention to the engine's operation and sound. Regularly listen to the engine to get a sense of what's typical. It is best to have the engine checked out if it sounds like it is operating higher or faster than usual. Doesn't match OEM standards. Each car maker establishes its range for engine revolutions per minute. Because of this, a vehicle's normal may not be the same as another. To find out whether there is a problem, I advise you to review the manufacturer's specifications. You should have the car check it out if the RPM starts to read higher or lower than what the manufacturer considers to be within normal limits. Stalling engine. Although many of these symptoms are related to excessively high RPM, they may also be caused by excessively low. In this scenario, the engine will have difficulty operating normally. It may begin to sputter or shudder, which you may notice. In the worst situation, the engine won't start because it isn't running at the proper speed. Jumpy acceleration. When the car does not accelerate, it seems to jump. There might be an issue if the car wants to accelerate like it's in a race when you shift into drive. Likewise, you ought to get it checked out if you find yourself applying more brakes to keep the vehicle restrained at reduced speeds. When your car is idling, it shouldn't be rushing to get somewhere. Now let's talk about the causes of incorrect idle speed. Fouled spark plugs. To ignite the air fuel mixture in the combustion chamber, spark plugs are required. These plugs may get contaminated or fouled over time. It's crucial to change the spark plugs regularly because of this. If not, the engine's RPM may be off, which typically results in a stalling problem. Dirty air filter. It's important to replace the air filter frequently as part of your routine maintenance. The engine won't be able to get enough air to mix with the fuel if the air filter becomes clogged the engine revolutions will be unpredictable as a result. Failing idle air control valve. The idle air control valve in your car needs to function to keep the RPM stable. This component could malfunction and result in a rough idle if carbon deposits accumulate on the valve. A blown fuse may also cause an issue with the power that this valve gets. The valve may become stuck either open or closed if the ICV is not receiving any power. Vacuum leak. You might notice higher idle engine speeds if there's a vacuum leak. The check engine light will illuminate when the oxygen sensor detects a lean condition. The computer in the car will react by making up for the issue. That is the reason why the RPM will increase. Faulty throttle position sensor. One important factor influencing engine speed is the throttle position sensor. For everything to continue functioning as it should, it must operate at exact specs. There will be an alteration in the RPM if this sensor is unclean or broken. Engine revolutions could be affected, either higher or lower. Malfunctioning computer. A computer keeps an eye on every sensor and maintains equilibrium throughout. The sensors, switches, and valves may behave as though they have a mind of their own if the computer begins to malfunction. Failure of the engine computer is not common, but it does occur. Additionally, it might require updating or reprogramming, which the dealership can handle. Can high idle cause damage? Although excessive idle won't likely harm your engine right away, it can over time cause harm. Elevated idle also results in increased fuel consumption and is a clear indication that there is an issue with your car's engine. The majority of automobile engines ought to have no trouble idling below 1,000 revolutions per minute. There may be an issue with the engine if it needs to be higher than 1,000 to maintain the engine's smooth operation.